so hello everyone i am arachnoid back with another video of the soul empire server and this you see is the clock tower the clock tower which has been producing the tick tick sound at the end of the last episode and this is my starter base i finally built this clock tower up and this is based on the video and build of the lujo boy his video will be linked in the description if anybody wants to replicate this clock tower so now let me show you what's in the inside here is my stone cutter and basic chests and stuff up here i readied my enchanting room and now i am all set for enchanting just i need three more levels before i start enchanting and if you wonder where this enchanted gear came from these are traded from villagers with basic enchants i didn't enchant these even these things these i traded it for emeralds i am showing you wherever we made our villager breeder a lot of progress has been happening throughout these like last week and i couldn't record all of the progress because i was busy building the time lapse for this base which you saw in the beginning of the episode now let's show what else has been going on in the undercity and also today i think i will run over this bridge and make it a cool looking bridge to go from this mountain and that mountain from this river so let's see and by the time let's show you other spaces in the undercity so here we are at the industrial area of the undercity and this is made by all of the members of the undercity i did the, i mostly did the decorating stuff and dragon emperor and ghost encounter made the farms and stuff and that's the iron farm right there uh this black stone and spruce and sandstone block palette felt pretty good so i used it in most of the farms decoration and this is the afk fish farm right over here and here is the trading hall where we trade sticks from those trees and get emeralds and we can buy full diamond tools and armor right from here and there is the villager breeder and that's the potato farm so let's move on there's some nice stuff over there you can see that oh that's really cool so that's basically the base of coast encountered let's go up front to check it out wow there's a lot of development here that is dragon emperor space that looks really good i appreciate his work now and this is the best base in the undercity i have seen till now best starter base uh ghost encounters one is the best i think that is also based on someone's build but he made certain modifications on it uh i will link all these builds in the description whoever it is and this looks quite amazing this is just astounding the level of detail this base has and so this is not completed yet i can see that he told me that he will put some blimps over his space and all to get that steampunk vibe so this is like the entire city is getting some steampunk vibe and that was the first base uh, made in the undercity that's made by zeros uh, or silverlight and now let's see Dragon space also looks pretty cool this time. It's not finished. None of them are finished yet. But let's see. It looks pretty cool right now. But I would say this one is the best space till now. The level of detail it has. So here we are at the nether area of Under City. We marked the portals and we now have the connections to all the portals. And that's my base portal right over there. So this uh, is the railway to spawn. The nether is pretty messy right now. We will decorate it later. Now let's just go to the spawn and check out the Spider-Man game results. So if you are if you are having any problems, uh, if you have not watched the Spider-Man No Way Home movie yet, please skip ahead to the timestamp given on the screen right now. 
because they release spoilers for the next uh, one minute I guess so let's just find out whoever has guessed the correct characters for the spider-man game here we are at the spawn at the spider-man game okay a lot of people have replied over here so let's see who have replied correct so ghost encountered says venom which is a correct answer if you have seen the post credit scene of no way home and daredevil first said by dragon and that is the correct answer so these two obviously miles morales and olivia octavius have not are not in the movie though miles morales gets a shout out but he doesn't appear so i guess dragon and ghost are the winners of this tournament and i will later take this down and make some new shops and the spawn over here so i now dragon and ghost will get five diamonds each as a reward for winning the spider-man game and other correct answers would have included you know it cannot be toby mcguire or andrew garfield so other answers were daredevil or it could have been wanda as she's in the second post credit scene or it could have been someone like mordo or it could have been mysterio too because mysterio was not in the trailer so oh hi there as 30 gg so a lot of people could have been there but daredevil and venom are the correct answers after that we i and dragon made a skeleton farm after finding a skeleton spawner and a dungeon and let's see and that's that's near dragon space let me show you it's pretty near it's in the acacia biome and we dug an elevator and we made the farm and it's based on the race work video of the new skeleton farm design made with powdered snow and cobwebs which convert the skeletons into strays so that we also get the arrows and the dogs kill the skeletons for us so we get more xp instead of dying of hunger because this server is in hard mode so i at the moment have 31 levels so let's enchant my pickaxe i guess because this is efficiency 2 let's enchant it first let's disenchant it yeah here we go we get some xp yes and now let's enchant it it's fortune 2 let's see oh only fortune 2 okay that was not expected but okay let's keep it at fortune 2 for now and let's move on to the next part of the video which is collecting christmas decorations christmas is next saturday and there will be a very special episode 3 a christmas special just wait for it and today we will do the resource collection and the plans for the christmas decorations in the server so for the christmas decorations i have some christmas heads uh i kept it yes it's over here these are some christmas heads and these are brought to uh, brought in server using the custom heads plugin and skin restorer plugin and so these are the new christmas heads and we will use this to decorate the christmas areas but first of all let's make our first shop let's see what if we make a deep slate shop right now because everyone has been asking for deep slate and also for stone so what about we make a rock shop and we sell some rock before that let me introduce the def different areas of the undercity these are basically the base areas and i planned for my base that i will make a hedge maze surrounding the base a circular hedge maze of multiple layers that's why i built my base far away from this bridge because 
this area entirely will be covered by the hedge maze and everyone needs to find their way inside that hedge maze to reach inside my base so that will be a pretty fun way to go inside the base until we have the elytra which we will get on 1st january so not before that we can just navigate through the hedge maze into our base so now let's introduce you to the new areas of the undercity so this is also the basing area and this is the village and that is also the basing area and right beside the village we have the industrial area which is down right over there the spruce trees yes those that is the industrial area which i showed you earlier and here will be the docks and the docks will be like a lighthouse and some ships and some flying machine uh, boats ships you will see later as the episodes go on so stick around for more surprises are coming and also that area near the jungle are the shops the shopping district or we don't have a shopping district right now but we decided for under city shops we will construct it right there right by the jungle okay so i decided to make a deep slate and stone shop as everyone need a deep slate so here is the time lapse of me mining deep slate okay so i got collected six stacks of deep slate now hopefully i will leave with this the price for deep slate will be two diamonds for one stack so i might get 12 diamonds now for this entire six stacks of deep slate and so let's let's build the deep slate shop now so the funny thing was that i told aesthetic gg to give me some more uh, deep slate and i will give him five diamonds and i told him that to give me five stacks for five diamonds while i will sell it at double the price so indirectly i am profiting half over here if he gives if he does some of the resource collection for me so that was a nice trade he gave me more five stacks of deep slate and i gave him five of my diamonds and so let's now move on to make the shop So here we are we made here I made the deep slate shop and here we can enter this and there's deep slate one stack three diamonds payments and cobble deep slate one stack two diamonds let's see who buys and here is a view of the shopping district from the top of the tower and i'm planning on making multiple towers like this based on the stone which i will sell for the stone shops and like a stone tower for the stone shop deep slate for deep slate like that and let's not do the, let's not further extend this episode and that's it for so today meet you in the next episode which is a christmas special coming on the day of christmas bye bye